What's going on, guys? It's Kyle Carroll from Carroll's Corner MMA Podcast and MyMMANews.com. I'm joined by Randy Rambo Lamb. Thanks for joining me tonight. Pretty good, man. Glad to hear. Uh, t- tell, us, uh, tell us a little bit about your fight coming up. Uh, I got a title fight against Jake Davis at, at welterweight. Um, I'm looking for it to be quite a, it's going to be quite a fight, I, I do believe. No, he, he's the reigning. He's the defending the title. He's coming off a loss, though, but he kept the title because his opponent didn't make weight. Uh, what are your some of the biggest biggest challenges that he presents to you? Um, we uh, we've we've I pretty much watched all his fights, and he he's he throws a lot of kicks, and uh, he um, he's he's not, and I know he has really good jujitsu off his back. I mean, he's all around. He's a great fighter. So, I mean, we got our hands full. And, uh, but I, we're preparing to, for him to try to throw a lot of kicks. So, our counter to that is to close the distance, take him down, and beat him up on the ground. Most definitely. And your last fight, you closed the distance after the first round against uh, Mazepa. And you got in, defended a choke against him early. Then you choked him out yourself. Uh, what was the biggest challenges to getting through his distance and getting inside to him? Uh, well, obviously, I'm I'm short for 170, so um, I he was he was a taller guy too, and uh, the range his they're both just like Jake's gonna be rangy, and uh, um, sorry I dropped you there. All good, <laughs> and uh. They're very good at keeping keeping short guys like me away. Okay. Well, well t- let's talk about your career. You know, you, had, you fought once last year in 2018. You're getting right away, right on the uh, card for Cage 40, Cage Wars 40, um, the first of five events they'll have at the casino. Do you plan on fighting more often this year? What's your goals for the year in fighting? Uh, I couldn't hear you, man. Oh, what are your goals for fighting this year? How often do you plan on fighting? Um, I'm going to fight, uh, obviously, at Cage Wars 40. And then uh, we're going to prepare for uh, um, victory in May. Um, depending how the title fight goes, if I win the title, I'll probably have to defend it before May. So, um, um so we'll see what happens, but I, I know I'm locked in to fight for another title in May at Victory for John Gibbons. Okay, so you'll fight. So you got two fights scheduled already, including the Cage Wars 40 fight. Um, do you plan on turning pro anytime soon? You do have a lot of fights under your belt for a, an amateur fighter. Um, if all goes well and my body can handle it, I mean, I'm getting, I'm pushing 41, so um. I think we'll we'll turn pro before the end of the year. At least I'll fight. I'll I'll fight at least once at pro. Okay. At least once. And uh, I understand you're a former you're a veteran of the U.S. military. Yeah, United States Marine Corps. Awesome. And, you know, how how does that apply to being um, a mixed martial artist? How did you take being a Marine into being a MMA fighter? Ah, uh, Marines are gritty, man. First ones there, last ones to leave. There's no quit. Definitely. And uh, tell us a little bit about the gym that you train out of and some of the coaches and the training partners you have. Uh, I train out of BJJ Revolution under Rob Hugus. Um, obviously, you know, uh, I've trained with Corey the Plant since the beginning. Um, but we felt we needed a little extra push this time around, so we brought in Rob, and he, he's world class. Awesome. I think I lost you for a second. Either that or your thumbs over the uh, camera. Probably, probably. <laughs> awesome. And, well, how long have you been training in jujitsu and uh, striking? Um, are you, I see your record. You're nine and five. This will be your fifteenth um, fight coming up. But how long? How far back does it go? The training was it before the military. How far back? Um, no, probably while I was in the military. Um, it started, and then uh, of course I started wrestling at a young age. Um. And then I went in the Marines out of high school. And then when I got out, I needed something to like uh, to keep my keep myself busy. So I started. Corey got me in the gym. We started training and uh, went from there. Awesome. What do you, What do you do for a full time living? 
I'm an electrician at a, a, a plastics factory in uh, Plattsburgh, New York, called Mulberry Plastics. Okay. Uh, I work 12-hour shifts. God bless you. Yeah. Well, how, how do you balance, you know, 12-hour shifts plus your family and then uh, training as well? It's rough. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted tonight, actually. So. Uh, so I won't keep you too much longer. Uh, did you add anything for this fight for against Jake Davis? Anything you worked on specifically to uh, help defeat him? Um, we're working on all aspects. I'm not going to divulge any s mm -hmm. special things, but we're working on a few things to try to nullify some of his, some of his stuff. And, uh, um, he plans on punishing me when I go for my takedowns and we'll see, we'll see if he can do what he says he's going to do what he says he's going to do. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this fight. Definitely a pretty good matchup. Um, what's one thing about you that nobody knows, but you'd like to share with everyone? Um, besides working 12 hours, shifts, fighting, I do also have three children, three boys, so they also keep me busy. That's awesome, and uh, I believe one of your sons were are in attendance last time, right? Yep, his name is Logan. Uh, I don't, I usually don't fight without him, but he's getting ready to have a baby, so he will not be at the February fight. Awesome, so well, awesome that he's having a child, awesome that it's not awesome that he won't be there with you. Um, yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but it'll be the first time I fought without him, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Cool. Well, what can fans expect from you inside the cage? Any predictions? Yep, I predict the war. Predict the war, awesome. Well, hey, yep. uh, Randy, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. Anyone you want to recognize, shout out, any sponsors for yourself? Yeah, I want to say thanks to my coaches, uh, Core the Plant, uh, Rob Hugus, BJ Air Revolution, my sponsor, SIP, Irons, Retro Live. That's about it. Awesome. Well, hey, Randy Rambo Lamb, I appreciate you taking the time to hop on Carol's Corner MMA Podcast. Wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you on your fight Friday, uh, February 9th, Cage Wars 40. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.